<laughs> Just you listen to me. Get that goddamn you stuff out me. of there. I'm working on it. Me. I'm working on it. Yeah! Woo! And we're back with the pokes. We're back with the smokes. And we have some coke. Cane. You see, the fame has gone to our head already, despite the fact that we only have 19 uh, subscribers and only one of them watches the videos regularly. Are you fucking shaming the subscribers for not watching all of our videos? <laughs> How dare do not all of our 19 subscribers watch every single goddamn video? I know you fuckers don't have a social life. <laughs> You're subscribed to Butt videos. Spectrum Club. By the way, yeah. subscribe to Butt Spectrum Club. By the way, we're super nice. We're really friendly people. <laughs> I, I swear we're we're nice. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. um, I'm gonna fucking love this shit, dude. This is super fun already. Yeah, yeah and I, and I got something real cool. Um, I still can't believe you can't see it. I mean, I'm just... Yeah. I hate that Discord does that sometimes. Actually, weren't we gonna talk about fucking something before we ended the episode? I don't remember now. Oh yeah, the Chris Chan documentary. Yeah. Um, I remember, actually. Uh, so. So I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I am I I'm part of the, uh, the Chris Chan subreddit. Uh. Which I know it sounds terrible, but it, it is not bad. A lot of it is just people making memes about Chris Chan. Um, but apparently, uh, the guy who is making the Chris Chan documentary, mm -hmm. um, he either, either it was f on purpose, um, oh, there's a Snorlax, um, either he was doing it on purpose or, you know, he just wanted to push the channel. But uh, he said, like, Chris Chan documentary part 60 won't come out until the channel gets to 200,000 subscribers. Uh, and he was super close. He was, like, 500 subscribers away from doing it. Um, but I remember a bunch of people were like, either he's memeing and making fun of Chris Chan, who would most likely say that sort of thing, or <laughs> this is going to go somewhere we don't like. <laughs> or... Or, 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 or. But yeah, I, I, I've actually, I, I had the chance to uh, keep watching the the documentary, and I've I've gotten farther into it. Um, actually, aren't you just starting the uh, Liquid Chris saga? Yeah, I got after like the blue stuff, and I haven't pretty, I haven't picked it up since. I got like a little bit into the the liquid the. Liquid Chris stuff, and then mm -hmm. I was like, I gotta give myself a break. <laughs> I need something not absolutely horrible in my life. <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty awful, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... The main thing right now, uh... I just f technically finished, uh... This, like, small saga where Chris and this guy... I don't know if, if the documentary has talked about him yet, uh, where you're at, uh, but his name is Alec, Alec Benson Leary. Do you know him? I don't know who that is, but... Uh, he made a fan-made parody of Sonic Chu called Asper Chew, <laughs> <laughs> which, if you can't tell by the name, is just Sonic Chu, but the character has Asperger? Asperger's, yeah. Uh... God, fucking Pippin, please! <laughs> Stop hurting yourself in confusion! What the fuck is this bullshit? But um Uh he was he was talking to Chris. Uh and, like, it, it was obviously, like, meant to be, like, a troll sort of thing. But, like, he was also kind of trying to help him out. Like, get used mm -hmm. to, like, being an actual, like, fucking 
guy who does shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, the main thing was he, he was trying to convince Chris that... Because uh, at the time, Chris was making, uh, I think, part 11 of the Son like, book 11 of Sonichu. Um, mm -hmm. But he was doing it, like, I think, like, one page a day, I think it was. And even then, like, he didn't do much of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just regular Chris Chan laziness. You know. <laughs> um, but, like, I just finished that, and I recently heard this, this thing where... Uh, or... Uh, he had been going to this, uh, this, he was just talking to normal people for once, Chris was, um, and this lady that he was talking to named Jackie, who, like, for the first time ever was actually a lady that was kind of interested in Chris, mm -hmm. um, or to my knowledge, she was, I could be completely wrong about that. But, uh, she, she tried to get Chris to go back to the game place, uh, and, like, he did it, and then the, the, the owner who banned him, uh, obviously kicked him out, uh, and fucking, oh, I'm having a hard time remembering it, but, like, Fuck. Well, uh, it was like, out the the guy Alec Benson Leary. He he called their house, posing as a game place uh, employee, and was like, yeah, he showed up to our place again, like trying to get Chris in trouble, and like fucking Bob was like, you listen to me, <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me. I don't know why I switched to Stinky. Pikachu can. I want to go to Cutie Pie. That's right. <laughs> fucking, fucking Bob is the fucking best. Which is a shame because like, a lot of the humor from Bob is is the fact that he's like trying to be a normal dad to to Chris Chan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just you listen to me. Get that goddamn you stuff listen. out of there. I'm working you on it. it. I'm glad I'm glad that it took five minutes for me to tell that story. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it was great. I loved it. It was it was really thrilling. Mm hmm it was Stop <laughs> missing, you idiot. I'm just trying to figure out like the best way to get this fucking soap to stay out there. I don't want it like flopping around and <laughs> flip flopping around. Looking all like shitty and stuff. I mean, it doesn't look. I mean, it looks cool, like <laughs> fucking thriller and stuff. I legitimately thought I was supposed to get two, but maybe I fucking messed it up and I only ordered one. And even then, you blow. I'm cool with that. Yeah. That shit's busting. This is really cool. <laughs> this shit's busting, busting. It's cool. Let me look. Amazon, come to me. Honestly, it was it was a good idea to have a, a lady who will heal your your Pokemon on the SSN, so you don't have to keep running to and from it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, when Game Freak puts their minds to it, they can come up with some really great ideas. Wow, why is it taking so long for it to fucking load all of a sudden? I'm just they're not shitty. What happened? Oh no, there it is. I don't remember if you fight me or not, mister. Nope. Do you? Nope. Also, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so blue's gonna come out... Or shit's is gonna come out of this way, so I wanna go here. Will you fight me? Oh, yeah. Okay, that would've been nice to know. Apparently, it's only one. There we go. Oh no, he's sending out a May chop. Um, I don't 
remember. I'm oh, pretty yeah, sure I'm definitely doing something. this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking it up. How did I? How am I supposed to do this exactly? Tell me, tell me, tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so I put it in there. <clears throat> Oh, I just I just remembered last episode we didn't actually talk about fucking Scarlet or Violet. I just explained that the Pokemon community is really decisive. Um, but like, so one of the cool things about Scarlet and Violet is that they're keeping, they're keeping the, the or it's not because Legends Arceus isn't completely open world. It's just a really open world if that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah. but apparently. Hopefully, if Game Freak knows what they're doing, we are going to have a Pokemon game that is 100% open world, which would be fucking fantastic. That would be so fucking cool <laughs> if they did that. Oh, that makes sense. Um, Why am I fucking stupid? But yeah, no, so... I'm sorry. It was that, and then, like, the graphics for this game... In the small preview that we got, it looks really fucking good. Like, which has been a, a very big thing. Because almost for a decade now, a lot of Pokemon games don't really look that good. Like, ever since uh, they... <laughs> ever since Pokemon switched over to 3D uh, stuff... Like, oh, they haven't really gotten God, good graphics yet. But a... What? I'm so fucking stupid. I was trying to figure out how to fucking connect it to the, the fucking ball. I'm like, it's not staying on there. Let me fucking figure out. Look, now it looks, yeah, that looks so much better. Oh my god. I'm just a fucking moron. Okay, well, I'm about to be the coolest fucking person here. <laughs> Sailor Man. Uh, Sailor, Sailor Man. Man. And apparently, Sailor Moon. I have to buy it another time to get a second one. But I won't be doing that. Because <laughs> that costs money. But actually, have you? Did you see the 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 new starters that they uh, showed off? Uh, no. Uh, let me send them to you real quick. The little boys, the little babies. I think you're really gonna like it. I uh, like these guys. I think the this is like I I, I I think this is the first time that I actually I've seen a Pokemon like the new Pokemon starters and like just instantly fall in love with them. Like, every other time, like, you kind of have to get used to it, because it's always weird. But this is the first time that I really, like, it's like, no, the, I love them already. <laughs> Little man. No, it's okay. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. Babies! <gasps> right? They're cuties. I like the little guy. I like the middle guy. Oh, the fire? The fire guy? Yeah. Toof. I like the uh, the little duck. Yeah, Ducky's cute too. And I think we've gotten their names already. I just don't remember what they are. <laughs> so I'm not going to lie. Like, because I was... I was uh, playing a fucking Dead Island. I recently got back into that. And by the way, that game, it is fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> like, they, like, I know that they're going in on the whole, because those are the same guys who made Dying Light. But, uh, mm -hmm. like, I know they're going full in on the Dying Light shit. Bro, they would have dominated if they went hard on the fucking Dead Island shit. Because I remember... The, like, when that game came out, everybody was playing Dying Light. Like, I was playing Dying Light. My, my like, I remember I used to play Dying Light, or not Dying Light, uh, Dead Island. Um, with my friend from fucking, uh, my elementary school. And I remember we'd always start over, because we, were, we weren't good at the game. And after a while, we just, like... We, like, kept giving up, so we had to keep starting over. <laughs> but, like... Oh, dude. Dying... God damn it. D 
Dead Island. It is so fucking fun. That's the one that I was... It was another um, part of the Dark Souls series. Elden Ring? Uh, 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 Are you talking yeah, about the Elden new Ring. one? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Honestly, I don't know anything about it. Uh, mainly because I didn't really, I didn't really keep up with uh, its like release and all the talk, uh, talk about it. Um, mm -hmm. But like, I, I honestly like, I'm excited for it, but I'm gonna wait like a month uh, to like give a shit. Mainly because like after a month, that's when the like initial like fan hype. Or initial like fake hype is gonna die down because a lot of the time uh, when games come out like people will be like this is the next biggest thing this is the next fucking greatest game ever like that's same thing happened with cyberpunk 2077 when that shit first came out like people were just happy that it was out um, mm -hmm. and then like a month later people were like yeah no this game sucks <laughs> I actually started playing it and they were like Ugh. Yeah, for for anybody who would like some friendly gamer advice from from the good old boys at Pot Spectrum Club, uh, when a new game comes out, never pre-order it, and then wait like a month after it comes out, so you can actually hear the true reviews on what people think about it. I have mm -hmm. made I have made both mistakes many a time, and just fight like just recently I was like, all right, I can't keep making the same shitty mistakes. I, I can't keep giving these shitty-ass game companies $60 for shitty video games. I can't keep mm. doing this to myself. I can't keep doing this to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be responsible. <laughs> Shit! You gonna start off with a battle right away, bro? Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, oh, fucking rip! Dude, fucking rat. dude, fucking, re oh my god, remember when we fucking ran into a goddamn shiny Radita? Yeah. I am so mad. I'm still seething that I couldn't catch that fucking thing. That would have been the coolest fucking moment of the entire playthrough if we could have gotten a shiny Radita. Because, like, this is the only game in the series... Where you where you can't up the shiny odds. Like shiny hunting is pain in this video game. Like every other game, mm -hmm. it's whatever. There's always a shiny hunting method, but not in this game. It's luck. That's that's the. Sh Why did I go into stinky? <laughs> Why did I go into stinky? Why did I do that? Uh, succubus, I'm gonna hope that you can tank a hit from a Pikachu, <laughs> please. <laughs> Oh, I used double team. Thank you. Thank you, Christ. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that would have been a terrible idea. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense than what I was fucking doing. I'm so stupid sometimes. I, sh I scare myself. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna take another sip of that funny juice, you know? <laughs> Come on, Rock Tomb, Rock Tomb! Let's go! Cutie Pie is a Whoops. gamer! You good? <laughs> I died! God, she's dead. Uh, my fucking. my balls! <laughs> My ball. I, I'm gonna keep saying my ball. I have one testicle. <laughs> you you know, heard it here it first, folks. I have one testicle. Anna has. Not only does she have a testicle, but she only has one. <laughs> I only have one. Uh, I'm a little bit so worried I... about this Abra. I don't have anything that's gonna be a good counter. I might just be able to push through, but I don't know. I don't know. Fuck, I spilled it wrong. I spilled it. Spilled it wrong. Oh, 
<laughs> Rather than later, when I go upstairs and my roommate is like, where the fuck have you been? And I'll be like, it's not none of your business. None of your it's business. none of your fucking <laughs> business. None of your fucking business. Why don't you take out the trash? Why don't you take out the trash? Do you want to tell that story on here? Uh, yes, actually. Okay. Um, my... While you do that, I'm going to prepare for this fight. <laughs> My roommate is like a cool person, and I like her a lot, and we've gotten along well over like last semester and this semester. Um, but like our room is slowly getting grosser and grosser. It's not like disgusting, but like when you look closely at it, you're like, because there's just Ugh. some things that are like kind of gross. Like there was a used band aid just kind of chilling on her lamp. And there's always like a bunch of shit kind of pouring out of the trash can and her dishes just kind of show in the, in the little thing. Which isn't like bad in of itself, but it smells. Yeah. It smells bad. And I'm like, Ugh. So I got Ugh. home from like, from like being at my house this weekend and I went home for my mom's birthday. And when I came back, she just didn't take out the trash. And it's like fine. Fucking whatever, I'll just do it. <laughs> Cause I, I personally like having a clean room. It makes me relaxed yeah. to live in a space that's clean. And I know that not everybody works like that, but that's how I. Live. And I'm like, I go to like pick it up, and like the trash bags that we have are very thin. But I pick it up, and there's so much shit crammed in there, like cereal boxes, a pizza box fucking glass bottles and stuff and I pick it up and it rips and trash goes everywhere. <laughs> Don't you love that? Isn't that awesome? So I spent like the next, it wasn't long I guess, but I was like in such a fit of rage <laughs> time had no meaning to me and I'm just like picking it up on the floor something wet and I'm like oh my fucking god when I get my hands on this woman I'm <laughs> going to fucking kill she her. She will die. <laughs> There's no reason, there's no fucking good reason that our trash is this full, that the trash bag should break. Yeah. And I pick it up because you can't be fucked to take it out before you fucked. for the weekend. It's not that big of a deal. It's gross. I get you kind of, I don't even want to say like depressed. I don't want to, you're late, so you don't want to take out the trash. And you're lazy, so you don't do your dishes, and then our room fucking stinks. Like, even my mom said something about it when she, like, came up to, brought, like, drop my stuff off with me. Mm. She was like, it's kind of, like, the air was stale. And then, like, the longer she stood in there, she was like, yeah, I'm just gonna order you some Febreze. <laughs> and I was like, ooh. <laughs> Cause I think she got a whiff of the dishes, cause that's the part that makes it smell as bad as it does. Yeah. Well, I'll do it. I just, I mean, I get it, I get it. But fucking, for Christ's sake, if your dishes have been there for a week, please, at least rinse them. Yeah. And on that disgusting note, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> Oh, awesome! <laughs> Super cool. And uh, c cleanse yourself, and then give, then give the the fans some some goodbye kisses. I'm in the process of currently bleaching my skin, so. <laughs> I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know I'm a little grossed out right now. I don't know if I physically can give forehead kisses. JJ, will you do the honors? Oh yes, yes, obviously. All right, everybody, step up. Step up! Don't be afraid. I I know the the beard the beard that you guys don't know that I have looks a little little intimidating. You think oh this is gonna be spiky? He's gonna have some gross shit in his beard, but I guarantee my beard is clean and not spiky. Cause I am still in the process of growing it. Uh, come here, just just a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, you know. <laughs> Ugh.
Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. God, that's so fucking funny. Don't be shy. Don't be intimidated. <laughs>